Hi, I'm Will. I'm a writer at MoviePilot.com, and today I'm going to tell you why I can't wait to see Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3 is the third part in Marvel's most successful franchise, counting out the Avengers, which did stupidly well, but also featured Iron Man. It's Tony Stark going back to basics, getting rid of Thor, getting rid of Captain America. He's going back to Malibu. He's hanging out in his home. He's got to deal with pepper pots, new villains, new problems, and demons inside himself. The three reasons why it looks amazing is, number one, Guy Pearce is in it. Number two, Ben Kingsley's in it. Number three, they're basing a lot of the storyline from the extremist storyline in the comics. And if you know anything about that, that's super fucking awesome. So, first of all, Guy Pearce. Guy Pearce is in an Iron Man movie. Guy Pearce is in a superhero movie. Guy Pearce rocks, all right? He was clearly shortchanged with the Prometheus movie. I mean, Guy Pearce is so good, he could have been really, really big in that movie, and he really wasn't. He was sidelined so hopefully he's going to get him his finger stuck into a really juicy meaty marvel role a villain role nonetheless think about loki in the avengers how much tom hiddleston hammed up the scenery you know you people crave subjugation that sort of thing and and guy pierce is just going to sort of bring that real villain edge it's 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 sort of he's not going to be the the primary antagonist but he's going to be the the main sort of fighting counterpart for tony stark with his tony stark in his iron man suit he's going to have to take out a beefed up guy pierce who has been genetically enhanced if you want to call it that but i'll get to that later second reason iron man 3 is going to rock it was revealed at comic-con this year that ben kinsley is in fact playing the mandarin it was speculated before because i mean look at him in prince of persia he literally looks like the mandarin but nobody really went out of their way to confirm it i mean even director shane black said that the mandarin is a bit of a racist caricature because in the comics he was always portrayed with these you know these lines for eyes and very yellow skin it's not cool to put that in a movie it's not right to put that in a movie these days so the idea of mandarin appearing in a modern marvel movie seemed very unlikely especially with the director saying not happening but then lo and behold marvel panel at comic-con footage comes out and who's there with his 10 rings on his hand it's the mandarin ben kingsley is rocking it he's behind the scenes he's the puppet master he's gonna fuck up tony stark's life he's gonna send his man guy pierce in there and all sorts of problems are going to occur Finally, the biggest reason why I can't wait for this movie is the rumour, the buzz on the grapevine, is that the script is based on the extremist storyline from the Iron Man comics. If you know anything about it, the extremist storyline is where Tony Stark takes the next step with his Iron Man armour, and instead of putting something on or letting Pepper Potts button him up with his Iron Man suit, he gets nanobots to hide the armor in the bones in his arms and his body. In the comics, it took a big dust up for Tony to take that next step and sort of integrate the armor into himself. So we're expecting a big, big fight at the start of the movie. And Extremis, the, the nanobot uh, technology which is, allows him to do this crazy stuff by putting the armor inside himself, is also the main reason how the antagonists are fucking around in Tony Stark's world, you know? Um, ben Kingsley's character is expected to sort of be using this extremist stuff on Guy Pierce's character, who's going to become a genetically enhanced metal man who will be able to take on the power of Tony Stark, who will then have to take the next step and put this extremist stuff in his body. Controversial? Maybe? Drug use? Who knows? I mean, it could symbolize anything, but all I know is it's going to look awesome. Those were my three reasons why Iron Man looks great. If you're looking forward to it too, give us a thumbs up down there. I'm Will. I'm a writer at moviepilot.com. Thanks for watching.